All right, so I think I know how to begin the next quest I need to do. At least I think so. I don't know. I'll just quickly go through all this nonsense. There we go. Okay. Hey, you doing all right? Losing a partner is hard. Uh, you know, not really. I'm, I'd rather just be out, you know, murdering people as opposed to doing, you know, desk work and all that. Yeah, I get that. After you're done, maybe I can convince the chief to make you my new partner on my last job. Oh, that sounds like things are gonna go horribly wrong for us, but, um, yeah, that sounds good. All right, I'll go talk to the chief. Come join us when you're done. <clears throat> I'm already done. Hooray, I get to have, um, Chief Gordon as my partner. Which, I mean, I'd rather have him than, than some dumbass named Buggy. Uh, get in here and take a seat. What were you saying now, Decker? I figured that I could bring the rookie along finishing up this case. Get them out from behind the desk. Think you can handle another job so soon, rookie? Oh yeah, it'd be fun. Glad to hear it, kid. Anyways, Decker was working on this case about the Triggerman's connection to the chem trade. Care to get the rookie up to speed? Yeah, there's this place I've tracked a lot of dealings down to. It's called Stefano's. Unsurprisingly, the name of the owner and operator. The place is crawling with Triggermen. But that's the source of a lot of chem roots. Yeah, that's the skinny. We need to get information out of that guy, Stefano, and I want him back here alive for questions. I don't want a repeat of the Yellow Jackets, you hear? All right, that should pretty much be it. You two are dismissed. Go do that and get out of here. I've got a lot of work to do. Yay, a new friend. All right, let's go investigate Stefano's. Hell yeah. All right, let's investigate this stuff on those. Hmm. Oh, what gun do I want to use? Yeah, I'll go with MP7. Why not? Stefano's. Hmm. I hope he has spaghetti. Hey there. Hey, Buster. You and your pally here can't come in without the boss's permission, unless you got enough to pay the entrance fee. How about I give you a handy? Or, you know, Stefano didn't tell me you were coming. Is he normally that bad at informing his people? Oh. My apologies, fellas. I must have missed the memo. Sorry for the hassle. The boss is upstairs once he's done ogling the merchandise. Tremendous. What a moron. Da, 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 da. What can I do for you two? I got anything you need. You need chems? I got chems. I can even set the two of you up with a new lady friend. I got good deals too. Two fresh ones downstairs. I bet I could track down anything either one of you two would want. Really? Well, I'd like to know more, um, more about your own business, cause... You know, we're here. We want to get some whores. We want to, you know get some drugs or whatever the hell we're here for. Ain't garlic bread or something? This is my little slice of downtown. Trigger men supply me with cams and manpower and the rest is uh, my little business. Very profitable. You uh, interested in investing? Of course. I love in investing. Um, Nice synth you got there. Like, could you tell me where you got them? Yeah. Worthwhile investment. Folks at the distribution have a few more. Hmm. Would you mind um, answering some questions for us? Because, you know, it's not like we're cops or anything like that. We're just two guys here to get some some hookers and some spaghetti. Yeah? What kind of questions? I don't know, like, um, you know, like, uh, I just like to know more about that synth, you know? Like, I, I'm I'm very curious on um, uh, about synths and stuff. I get it from the Triggermen. 
They get it from a guy who salvages and reprograms once the institute abandons. Bada bing, that's all you need to know. Okay. I can hook you up with my contact if you need. Well, do you know, like, who salvages and, like, reprograms them? That's the kind of information you'd have to pay me to hand out, pal. So, um, you deal chems for the Triggerman? Yeah. You hit a bio what? Uh, maybe, but, like, could you tell me, like, where the chems come from? What is this, an interrogation? <laughs> You're not cops, are you? Of course not. Well, uh, that would be silly. <laughs> I was about you two head on down and get yourselves a couple drinks on me. Check out the place and then uh, maybe we could talk business after, eh? I think that sounds good. Let's go take a look over what we might be investing in. Hmm. I have a feeling they're gonna start shooting at us because... You got any ideas about this? Um... What if we grabbed him and jumped out the window? Um... You think we can convince him to come with us peacefully? I doubt it. This feels like a dead end. Okay, what if we grab him and then jump out the window? I'm good not having broken legs. Well, we can't right fight our, our way out of here if he resists, so... Yeah, that would be too dangerous. Wouldn't want him to be caught in the crossfire. Well, I'm out of ideas. Yeah, me too. I don't see us getting him out of here unless something crazy happens. I have a feeling something crazy, crazy is about to happen. Oh, who are you, good sir? <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Who are you? The fuck was that? Well, that was crazy. I just gotta, you know, hey. Excuse me. Please don't kill me. I'll give you anything you want. Please just don't hurt me. Decker, cuff him. Damn it. You're coming back with us, pal. Good job, partner. Let's get him back to the station with us and see what the chief thinks we can get out of him. All right, awesome. Well, that was very convenient. Hey, dude, can you... Yeah, there we go. I don't know why that guy randomly attacked me, but then again, I'm guessing he probably, um... Probably was a synth, because he had the synth component on him. Or maybe it's just, you know, one of the many kids that I've spared in my travels that... Recognized me and was like, this is my chance to avenge my raider parents, and then... Well... He wound up dead like his raider parents, to say the least, you know. Da, da, da. All right. All right, back to the chief. Hey. What is it? What do you want? We got Stefano. You and Decker get along then? <laughs> well, it looks like you two did good work. Nice job. Hey. Ahem. Uh -huh. Hmm? See you around. Okay. Yes? 
Okay, like... Huh? Hey there. What is it? What do you want? What's next? Well, now that we got Stefano locked up in a cell, the next part is to grill him on the Trigger Man's operations. We're going mm. to interrogate him. Come on, partner. It'll be fun. Yeah, we'll take care not to kill him. Dead people aren't exactly the talkative type. I don't know, man. We could probably hold a seance for him. All right. Oh, I hope I get to rip out his teeth and kick him in the balls and, like, um... What other stuff do people do during interrogations? Oh, I'm gonna lie to him. I'm I'm gonna be like, I have your maw. And if you don't tell me what I wanna know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking kill your mother. That's it. And he's gonna be like, No, don't kill my maw and Yeah. Hey there. Yeah. Come on, sleaze ball, we got some questions we wanna ask you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yes, yes, everyone touch the door. Hey, the hell do you want? We got some more questions for you. Tell me everything you know about the Triggers Man, the, the Trigger Men's Kim distribution. They didn't tell me shit about it. Can't help you. We got some more questions. Oh, goody. Even more fucking questions. Decker? We need info on how the Trigger Men distribute chems. I don't know anything. I just sold the chems. You'd be better off just putting me back in that cell. You know, well, I mean, we know you know something. Tell us. I don't know shit about the distribution center. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Distribution well, center? I'm just assuming they have, like, uh, you know, a place like that. Just makes sense to me. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. I think you broke my fucking nose. Tell me. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Christ. Oh. The distribution center could be accessed via a drainage pipe in the harbor. Yeah, let me mark your map. Fucking ow. See, that wasn't so bad, sleazebag. Let's go talk with the chief before we head out. Mm, all right. Oh, that was a pretty um, successful interrogation. Probably, pr probably my most successful interrogation ever, really. <clears throat> what is it? What do you want? Uh, Stefano spilled beans. We know where the distribution center is. What do you think I'm paying you for? Standing here? If you already know what to do, then go ahead and take care of it. It's your job. Oh well, well, well. I just wanted to tell you, Chief. Like you don't gotta yell at me. <laughs> he yelled at me, Dagger. <laughs> All right, let's find this drainage pipe and, you know, go ruin someone's drug business because it'd be a shame if, you know, if people could just deal drugs in, in, in private and not be harassed by the police. Terrible world th that would be. All right, let's get frisky. Hello. Oh, I like their little hats. That's so fancy. Yeah, you want to fuck with me? I'll kick you in the balls. I'll kick all you in the balls. Seven. 
Yes, there is someone present. That's me. So far, incredibly easy. I assume, yep, yeah, there we go. I assume I can just swing on down here and be like, Ooh. Got it. Got it. Okay. Everybody shoot me. Oh. oh my god, okay. Ah. Well, that was... Distribution key, trigger man, note. Remember our deal, these scents are there to protect my interests first. You can either pay them the rest of the way off, or you can finish developing my chem B. Ooh. I wouldn't say I really crossed any of you guys, but um... You know. Oh, you shouldn't have crossed us. We're gonna, we're gonna make you feel bad. Following institute protocol, eliminating hostile. Disappearing. <laughs> Good job, guys. Really, really stopped us there. Gonna walk up here and probably kill some more people because that's like what I do. That's my job, I think. Well, that was surprisingly easy. All right, Decker's fine. All right, I guess we're gonna go back to the chief. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit more difficult, but I mean, then again, I guess these guys don't really have much in terms of armor, so there's not much to really stop my bullets from, you know, penetrating them, so what can you do? I mean, I guess you could, you know, wear a fucking bulletproof vest or some shit. Nope, I didn't want to fucking do that. Nope, fucking goddammit. <laughs> 